participating an internship will greatly help you find a full-time job after you graduate from college. However, finding an internship could be challenging to many people. In this video, I am interviewing seven students who received a summer internship and sharing their tips which help them succeed during the recruiting process. I'm Rosie and welcome to CPA Career Path channel, the place where you can learn tips and get advice about your CPA journey. Being active on professional networking platforms such as LinkedIn, um, I would say that once you've met someone at a networking event, uh, maybe request to add them if you've had a significant interaction with them. Um, always staying in contact with other professionals is always beneficial. I started networking with professionals when I was still in a community college and that really helped me with uh, setting my professional goals and starting expanding my professional network and also uh, just meeting with people and boosting my confidence in talking about the accounting field. And so when I transferred to SDSU I immediately uh, joined a student organization to build my leadership experience, which I'm going to talk about next. And also, um, I started looking for work experience, um, what tutoring, um, internships, or, and even volunteering. So all of those things early on helped me a lot in my recruiting process. Being um, in contact with alumni. So at my school, every semester, alumni come back uh, to help us. So they've already been through the recruitment process. They know how challenging it is So they definitely want us to have like an easier experience. So going back um, To going to them um, has been helpful for me because when I wanted to recruit with a specific firm I made sure to keep in constant contact with that alumni so they can help me throughout the process Attend the Career Academy I know the Career Academy is something that's specific to CBiz, but every other uh, firm has the uh, Summer Leadership Conference, so that's something that you can attend. It's mostly geared towards um, sophomores, but with CBiz, I know they didn't really have a... Uh, it wasn't only for um, sophomores. I know some juniors and seniors attended, so that's a good opportunity there. That day, it's full of uh, opportunities to just meet with people. Like, some of the people that I work with today, like I met with them at the Career Academy, so I think that's kind of... It helped me in a sense because I already knew them. So like going into it, I wasn't as nervous. I know my peer contact was one of those people I met that day. So like throughout this whole time, like it felt like I already knew him. So it was like whenever I had questions for him, it was just so easy just talking to him. And they also give you a presentation of tax versus audit to help you out with the big um, decision that you need to make at the end of the internship. So it's like something for me, like I kind of knew what I was getting into it a little bit by going to the Career Academy. So that's my biggest tip. Um, that's one thing that I did. It really helped me out. That's where I got my internship offer, basically. And I know uh, there's a few of us that got the internship offer from the Career Academy, so I re really recommend it. Attending um, networking um, events. I also attended um, all of the interview um, preps, the mock interviews. I went to meet the firms. Um, and then I also attended any professional development workshop that um, was provided by the clubs that I was in being able to talk to people and connect because you're meeting so many new people and like talking to all these people that you've never met and it's important to get to know them and kind of learn more about them as people. Don't make the uh, recruiting process a competition between yourself and your peers. So at many events, I would notice that someone in the group that we're talking with would always try to make it about themselves or wouldn't let other people in the conversation, which kind of makes it uncomfortable for everyone. So don't make it a competition. Although we all know not everyone is gonna get an offer, include everyone in the conversation. The associates, your peers, um, a manager, whoever it may be, include everyone in the conversation. Being proactive within the job searching process or internship process, um, constantly looking out for opportunities as well as following up after these events, whether it's an email or a phone call, um, uh, checking in and discussing points that you liked um, from your interaction or any questions you may you may have. And then my personal touch was always writing physical thank you notes after interviews um, when possible, um, just showing that you care and that you're really interested in the, in the job. Learning how to listen and not just 
uh, hearing someone and uh, just waiting for your turn to, to respond or talk, but to actually actively listen and uh, try to remember the person's name and try to remember something important from the conversation so that you can bring it up later on. For example, after each of my interviews, I always send a thank you letter and I uh, try to personalize it and, like I said, bring something up from, from the conversation. And I think that recruiters and interviewers appreciate that a lot because it shows uh, that you are you're very personable and I think you seem more likable. Being super flexible because I mean, we started off being in person and now we're online and it's just been like adjusting to that and making sure that we're able to continue with everything. Be persistent. For me, I, I interviewed or I, I tried going for the internship beforehand and I didn't get it my first time around. But then I pushed back my graduation. I became a sophomore again. And then that's when I attended the Career Academy. And then I got the internship now. So that's what I'm doing right now. But for me, it was more about being persistent. Like, say if you know that CBiz is going to an event on campus, I would show up to it next semester if they're showing up again go to it because for me i feel it's the the hardest conversation you're going to have with somebody is the first one that you're going to have after that every single conversation gets easier and easier because at that point it's you're just catching up with them it's not like you're thinking up something on the fly it's the first time meeting them like i know you're nervous but from then on it's like it helps you out um for me also at the career academy like some of the people that i met there like they already knew my face because they see me around so long because i had recruited with them before so I think it just there, it's like, it was so much easier. Just like showing your face, just meeting everybody. I, I would say start first with the alumni um, from that firm that went to your school. Cause there it's like the easiest. And then they start expanding from there. I think that's what helped me. And I think that's something that could definitely help you as well. To be involved in Catherine's organizations, not only do they uh, provide um, network opportunities, they also have amazing workshops. One workshop that I like, thought that was really helpful was a mock interview workshop. Um, not only do they give you common questions that um, interviews, interviewers ask you, they also give you feedback. So it helps you refine your interviewing skills. The best way for me to build leadership was by uh, joining a student org. I, um, I got elected as a treasurer at Bet Alpha Psi Honors Accounting Society. And that was uh, a profound experience for me because I learned, uh, I earned um, soft skills such as communication, teamwork, and such, and even software skills. I, I, w I gained a lot of uh, knowledge about Excel, QuickBooks Pro, and, and such. So those experiences early on helped me a lot. Attending um, student organizations or clubs um, I was part of um, accounting association in my um, university, as well as um, Alpha, which is this professional club um, that helps um, students succeed. I had a mentor. Uh, when you are part of the club, they assign you a mentor, or you could also be a mentee, and then, and then someone is there to guide you through the recruiting process. So um, that person, that mentor has already been through the recruiting process and probably has already an offer. So they are really helpful um, in the recruiting process and could answer all of your questions along the way. Being involved in campus, whether it's a business club or um, another club such as the Accounting Society, I found benefit from being in the mentorship program. Um, I myself was mentored by another student who had who was further along within the accounting program. Um, and then I myself became a mentor once I went through the recruiting process and was able to successfully land an internship. Be yourself. As cliche as it sounds, you have to be who you truly are. If that means that you're a little shy, a little awkward, let that be known. Be who you are. The last thing you want is to pretend that you're this outgoing person and then you're an audit and you're really not that person. So if that means that you're going to more fall into tax, that's okay. Be who you are. Be honest with yourself. Is this a company that you want to truly work for in the future? Or is this just a company that you want to interview and get some experience with? For example, CBusiness was the company that I truly wanted from the get-go. So I put time and effort into figuring out 
who they are, where they have locations, who is it that I'm gonna be talking to at Meet the Ferns for my example. Just to improve yourself, like say if you know there's an area that you're lacking in, say you're not the greatest public speaker, right? I would say find opportunities out there to improve that. Like I know they have Toastmasters, that's one option that you can do. If you have a club on campus, like do presentations there. That's something that you can do. Say you wanna brush up on your Excel skills. Like I'm pretty sure there's like many courses on LinkedIn that you can do for through LinkedIn Learning. So there's stuff like that you can do. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Like say, you know, like for me, for my, for my case, right? I know I didn't get the internship the first time, right? You analyze what you did wrong. And I think from there, you improve on those things that you failed on before and you just get better and better. And I think people do notice the improvement in yourself. I think that's really something that I would like push you to do. It helped me out. Definitely. I know for me, I wasn't the greatest speaker. Um, I had trouble communicating with people, but like now, even during this internship, like I have to communicate through Zoom. Like that's something that's always scared me, but now here I am doing it like two years later. So definitely like keep improving yourself. Like there's never like, or there's always room for improvement. It's like, you're never going to be perfect. Open to learning because there's, there's just so many things that you have to learn in this process because it's, you learn a lot in school, but I mean, it's not the same as being in the workforce. To be open uh, to any help and advice, um, whether it be just looking for the application online or choosing between firms, um, making sure that you're open to any, anything um, has been really helpful for me.